Hey, what's going on everybody? It's the author, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing Little Gift Shop of Horrors, which premiered last night. Now, before I start this video, keep in mind that this is not going to be a very heavyweight video about, like, secrets and super secret stuff. There isn't really that much that was in this episode as far as that goes. It was more of a funny filler episode to kind of fill the void between now and the next episode, which is going to be the Search for the Blind Eye episode, which is going to be awesome. So... I, I can't wait for that. Be sure to check out my video on that in the description below. But let's get right into this video with the few pictures that I've compiled. And if you want to check out a few clips from this, definitely check out my channel. I've got those uploaded or being uploaded at the moment. So those are going to be up for you to watch. Now, here is the first image about this uh, episode. Now, this is kind of the only speculative theory I really have about this episode. But you can see here, he's wearing glasses. Now, this wouldn't be such a big deal if it weren't the two styles that we've seen for Stan. Now, they're, they're, they look so just like similar to it that I couldn't really ignore it. Now, if you notice Dipper's wearing them, it's part of a joke in the episode. He's kind of going around just wearing the glasses. It's not really a big deal, but it is the same style as we see on the glasses for Stan and also as we see on the, the glasses on the table in Carpet DM, which is another episode in Season 1 of Gravity Falls. Now, that has sparked a huge theory for the Stan Stanford. It didn't really spark it, but it helped fuel it, and it's a pretty big deal as far as that theory goes, the Stan Stanford twin theory. If you don't know about that, I do recommend it. you give it a search. I will make a video on it eventually, but I haven't at the moment, so I do recommend you just search for it and you can find more information on that theory, the twin theory for Gravity Falls. Now, that's really it for this image, just a bit of some glasses imagery. We're going to go on to the next part of this episode, which is the hidden government agents. There's two of them. There's one at the uh, at the booth air area, where the same place where the glasses were. There's the first government agent, and then there's the second one, which is at the bowling alley, which you can see on screen as well. Now, this is very similar to Blendon Bladen. Uh, I believe that's how you pronounce it. It uh, was in season one. He shows up for a split second, and it's kind of a big deal. They pointed out at the very end that he's just kind of shown up, and they've been watching what seems to be the entire time. They've been in every episode up until now, I believe, of season two since uh, they showed up in uh, earlier in the season. So I think it's kind of important to note that they're there, and we should definitely be paying attention to their appearances. Um, they're just showing up, watching, just being there. Just little hidden Easter eggs. Now, um, I also wanted to quickly throw in this image of Stan looking in a mirror. You can see his tattoo. Now, we've seen his tattoo. We've discussed his tattoo. There's literally been an entire uh, Gravity Falls short about his tattoo. But just the fact that they put it in there, I thought was a nice little, uh, I don't know what you would call it, a nice little hint, nice little Easter egg for us to find. But it's right there. Now we go on to the main part, which is going to be the secret codes. Now, there were two different ciphers and a key word used in this one. I've made a video on how to use the visionary cipher earlier on my channel. I'll leave the link in the description in case you want to do it yourself. Maybe pause this video and go do it. Oh, wait. Okay, you should be good. Now, I'm going to tell you what it says. Now, this first one, which is in the end credits, you use the visionary cipher and you use the keyword non-canon. So it translates to check out Dr. Waddles' latest book, A Brief History of Oink, 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 Oink. Now, there you go. That's the, uh, that's the thing. It's not a very uh, deep, dark secret of Gravity Falls-esque kind of thing, but it is definitely something that is fun, and it's fun to decode these things. I do enjoy it. Now, we go to this next one. This is uh, the hidden, or not the hidden, but the page that flashes at the end of each episode. You can see there's numbers in the top left and the bottom right. Now, what you do here is you use the combined cipher. Now, I have not made a video on this. I will soon. I will leave a link in the description that explains the cipher in case you want to do this yourself as well. Now, uh, basically what this translates to is all animation in the top left and then is black magic. So... There you go. All animation is black magic. That's the code for these different cipher things that you can decode. Now, going into the last part of this video, the last leg, is this. Now, right here we see the two pages of Dipper's book. Dipper's Journal 3 is important to point out. These are uh, different the pages that describe the mushrooms that uh, make into the brain goop that Waddles ends up eating in the episode. But this is just the page 
nothing really surprising here it's just kind of interesting to take a look a little bit of a freeze frame for you there it also you you can see in the top left it says do not eat that's a that's a bit interesting and it just describes it kind of further so if you're interested in reading that go ahead and uh, it's right there here's another angle of it as well you can see here uh, Dipper has it on his bed and yeah so that's pretty much it Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I really enjoyed this episode. It wasn't the best one, but it was definitely, it had some funny moments. I really can't wait until the next episode, the Blind Eye episode. I, I'll have a link in the description describing that. It's gonna, it just sounds like it's gonna be really, really cool. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. In the comments, let me know what you would like to see me make future videos on, maybe on a theory, maybe on something else, and let me know if I can improve anything on this video. I am looking for constructive criticism. I really appreciate any of that, guys, and thank you again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, and goodbye.